Okay, we got battery power. This would be a quickie, and um, you know, I don't know. But the reason for making this video is I have learnt something, um, and it's something uh, majorly important. Like we are seriously, we are only noticing one seventh of the woman. <laughs> Um, how, you know, how far this goes. Obviously women know what they are, they are what they are, they are the full thing, right? But um, in terms of vocalising it or um, for men to get it, um, that hasn't been happening. And we've sort of got... Um, a very narrow perception of woman. You could say man mark two. <laughs> no, don't go there. Right, so most of us, most of you watching this, um, will have experienced connecting with somebody online. And depending, you may not have been sensitive enough to notice the difference between whether they're male or female. Um, but let me explain this. So, feeling love from a man, and I can only speak as a man, right? Feeling love from a man, it's 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 warm, it's it's strong, it's sort of. Uh, but it's sort of, it's simple, it is what it is, it's, and I see that as an analogy of a ball of white light. Feeling love from a woman, firstly from a man's point of view, it triggers things, the carnal, right, the cells of my body that just want to procreate, you know, that's, that can always come up as a result of feeling love from a from a woman f from a man's point of view um, but that's kind of mixing things up with the, the urge to procreate and stuff like that so if we're just talking about getting to know someone and stuff like that really that side of things just messes with it um, so just feeling love from a woman, what I've noticed I've been doing is I've only been feeling the first bit. And what I'm noticing is that there is a spectrum. And exactly that, a colour spectrum. So with the man's analogy, it's a ball of white light, the love. Um, so a woman is like a, a, a snake, if you like, with sectioned up colours and the first one is red and is it always like that this is you know this is something that's really big for me I was I'm gonna be sort of noticing more and more about this but at the moment the impression I'm getting is that the first one is like that red of faith and it feels really nice and lovely like here now I think we do get into the second one. I think that that is something that I have personally done before the second one, orange patience. You get to sense the the patience of the woman. But the, the next one, yellow wisdom, I think I've been blocked on that for my whole life. Pretty much, well, in, from adolescence anyway. So then the next one would be green, mercy, light blue justice, dark blue peace, and violet goodness. So every time, every time I've felt any sort of love from a woman, I've felt the first bit and not completed receiving the full thing. And that includes... No... So that doesn't, inc and I thought about this, it doesn't include God, because 
This is what happened to me, when would it have been, 2016 or later, 2017, in 2017 in the winter, in the beginning of 2017 is when I had all this sort of stuff about love and it's that different colour spectrum and in a sense I was I had no choice with like God was appealing to my flesh I was injured I had an injured leg but I was and I was meditating and I was feeling these pains and if I didn't manage to transform it into a loving feeling I, f I had the feeling it was going to injure me again like my leg and I was feeling pains in different areas where I seriously didn't want injuries and as a result of that I came out with these videos about the different the, the wheel of love the color wheel of love sort of thing and uh, the seven spirits of love to each color and stuff like that so with mother god I, I think I was forced to feel everything I, I had to and I did but so I haven't been you know every other time I've been trying to feel Mother God, you know, in a sense I haven't been thinking I've got to feel this full spectrum. And also with my soulmate. Um, and this came about because of someone that contacted me a few months ago wanted um, concerning my alternative healing stuff and we've had some few chats, long chats and um, you know, and I've said because she was female that I would almost be learning quite as much as she might be, so that, you know, it's on a voluntary basis. If she felt I'd helped her, then she could give me some dosh. But otherwise, anyway, so actually, it was through, you know, having had these chats with her, getting to know her, it was through how afterwards, you know, if I've been dealing with someone and you know, afterwards in meditation there'll be things to sort of go through and often f sort of feeling a connection. And it was through, because of her, that I, then I started to notice that, you know, I wasn't feeling the full thing here, this wasn't it, you know, there's, I'm not getting the full message and that's kind of how it came about and... So I thought I'd mention that. So with any interaction with any female now, you know, um, I will be looking for this stuff that I've been missing out on before and trying to feel the full thing. And um, see if, you know, I think, you know, if that's going to make a difference in terms of my soulmate, I think quite possibly, you know, I'm hoping... So yeah, so that was um, that was the main reason for this video. Um, we are in some cool times at the moment, and um, what can we say? Uh, this seventeenth uh, of July rapture thing is um, obviously that day came and went, you know, was that the first fruits of the beginning? Well, Pearl, one of the three girls, ladies, has just done a video about the, that was the first cry, and the midnight cry will be on the 9th of August, and then 17th of August, that will be like uh, a new beginning time, door shut, moving forward. So, good, I'm glad we haven't got months to wait for <laughs> these things, because that's what ticks me off usually, is like, oh, here we go, there's another date set for a few months away, we, you know, we can, at this point, we can conjecture anything can happen in a few months, can't it? And then it gets close to time, and oh, it doesn't seem like anything's going to happen. <laughs> that's it every day. Come like a thief in the night. It's explained that the burglar comes at a time when you least expect it. So that's when it's going to come, when you least expect it, when you give up. Yeah. Yeah, just thought that. 
same thing, isn't it? Really. So don't expect <laughs> don't expect stuff. Yeah, see so yeah, again, anticipation cocks things up. Live in the now. Let's look at battery. Um, I'll make it short because it takes ages to upload. But yeah, um, you know, all power to truth. The more truth you discover, the better the universe gets. That's true. Alright, ciao.